hello guys welcome to today's tutorial so this is a part of selenium framework development series okay and we are in part 11 okay today we are going to implement or see the implementation where we'll be working with page object model okay page object model framework has a core concept okay we'll see what is that and how to implement the same till last video we had seen how to create a base setup and wave action util helper actually right so i'll suggest you if you haven't gone through the last set of videos i'll suggest you to really go through the video so that it will be clear to you going forward now what is page object model okay in page object model like the name itself suggests we the model is dependent on page object so what is page what is object what is page object model so basically if you see here I'll, I'll just give a high level overview of page object model and an in-depth implementation how we can do that okay as part of this uh, tutorial so here we'll be seeing two different implementation of page object model one is with page factory okay classic page factory okay and another one is without page factory We'll use some interfaces and we'll develop that so let's quickly see what is page object model so this is gmail account right so google account so this is one web page right it has some certain functionalities or uh, operation that you can perform with this application or with this page specifically right let's say this is the page which allows you to log in to your application right so once you enter a password you click on next will be navigated to your home page right so this have a limited number of functionalities so here entering the password clicking on the next button or forward password this kind of functionality it has okay so in page object model we segregate one application in different web pages right because the application is distributed among the web pages right so each web page has some certain set of functionalities those functionalities are considered each one of them considered as a separate separate method okay and the each page is considered a java page class okay let's assume this this is a page one so i'll create a class called page one java class okay i'll write couple of methods one is to enter the password one is to enter the next click on the next one is to click on the forget password because this page has only three functionalities so like this one page web page is considered as a page class in java and that page class will be containing its the pages functionalities in a form of methods okay this is basically on a high level page object model concept and why it is very much useful because you have to you know so one if if something goes wrong uh, tomorrow or some element gets changed or some functionality gets changed in a page so you can quickly change the functionality fix the code in a single line or single place any element goes uh, differently or you know performs differently you can change in a single place it is much more secure much more robust and in a single line of or like single uh, place where you need the change basically right there are other benefits as well okay like it provides you the flexibility to analyze your code in a much more better way and concrete way okay and a segregated you can basically manage your code in like you know small small classes you can write the code itself you can reuse those pages basically and do that so this is the whole concept basically okay now how to implement this page object model so there are two ways one you can implement it with the page factory okay classic page factory so what is page factory because to work with the page factory we'll see how we can implement that in this video only and one is without page factory we'll see first without page factory so let's quickly come back to our coding part so here if you can see here so we have created a okay let's first show you how we have created a home page class okay which will be having we have taken an example of google.com so which will be having the home page of google 
okay so here i am create the class which is basically extending your web action helper utils okay which we had developed in the last section last video and this is the important catch here that we are implementing a page module like here we are segregating or we are dividing our page functionality and locators in different classes and interfaces so, okay this is the constructor which will get the driver from the base class itself this is open to super class which is basically wave action helper right and it is implementing this one so this is a functionality of the web page basically again it is utilizing the common utils from web action helper okay if you can see here wait for element until common selenium function we have coded so if you can go through last video we can understand we will, we will be able to understand that so we are calling the usual functionality and forming or writing a method okay which is the same as the page functionality if you see enter search data to the search field you know the google right so if you go to the google.com so I am typing something here so that's the same thing I'm doing okay I'm waiting for the search box to be displayed and I'm writing something on the search box and here I am waiting for some time so this is for showing purpose I had used shut sleep but uh, you can use something else as well like implicit access rate weights for this I have kept it like that okay this is again i'm searching another method which is performing the search click button and this is you can do n number you can write n number of method so this home page basically page class will have only the page functionalities in the form of java methods okay and it will refer or call the locators from the interface which is this one okay i had so so the concept is i have a page called page one okay the the element of page one or the locator of page one i will be keeping in an interface called page one interface so page one will be implementing the interface why this is required because so how it is beneficial so every time you are calling this you are not required to initialize this because this is an interface right interface means it doesn't need to uh, you don't need to create an object to use all the stuffs here every time you need it you just directly call it so memory space is you are uh, you are utilizing your memory space you are utilizing your runtime uh, timing activity time complexity as well space complexity as well right if you go through this approach okay so what if a page there is a page okay let's say and the respective locators of the page will be mapped in a such a way page functionality one page the respective locators will be in the interface if you see the module this is the home page where the function will be there and this is the respective page module right so let's say you have a another page okay let's say uh, home page 5 or like uh, message page will create the functionality here as a class and here you create an interface why interface because there are multiple ways you can initialize or keep your locator okay properties file or other format as well but every time you don't need to read the properties file or you don't need to create an object if you are using class for storing the locator so you don't need to create you have to create an object to access that right but interface you don't need to create object basically you cannot create an object right so basically if you see we are directly utilizing this because we are implementing this so that's the benefit we get if you use this okay so that's how you can develop the page class or page object model one by one without page factory okay now how to run this or how to utilize this in a test method so here we have created a test method which is basically extending the best app again i'll encourage you if you haven't seen my last videos go ahead and see those last so that you can 
have the full understanding here I am just initializing all the object of page classes okay and I'm navigating to the URL after setting the driver in before class and I'm searching something with the data so basically home page is the page what we were talking about till now okay and I'm calling the method called enter surgeon and I'm calling the method of the pages basically right so let's quickly try to run it and let's see how and what it behaves okay so run as just in the test so okay this has opened it's opening up actually okay it had opened up it should write test automation or something whatever we had try to search for yeah testing automation so our test is still running okay let's see okay it got successfully done it is done successfully now so this way we have in this video we have seen the page how you can develop your page modules page class and even how you can consume the page uh, object as well you're getting object right and how you can utilize this methods function and how you can tie up your locators in page class now this now next portion what we are going to talk about now in next five to six minutes is how we can create your page object model okay with the help of page factory okay so here I have created another class called home page with page factory okay so let's quickly see how we can do that so again I am I am utilizing or extending same web action helper utils like this class will be having all the utility method for performing web actions correct so this is the constructor basically okay and this is getting the driver now here we are initializing the elements okay the driver under this all the things we are using a page factory what is page factory this is a part of selenium jar or selenium api or utilities right if you can see here so you have to init the elements you can use this you can use other commands are also available as per your own it so i have shown a very good approach here which is ajax element locator factory which you can use to initialize basically once this this is done then you are going to write the locators here itself okay so how we are writing same thing we used to write in a separate interface here i am writing as this part of the same page class okay so here i am using at the rate find by this is again part of if you can see selenium dot support dot selenium itself right we are utilizing that this is basically i'm this is the locator i'm naming search box okay this is search box okay and i'm taking the id for this right so that's what i'm doing i'm using find by find by okay another approach we can use or utilize okay using how how dot x path and we are adding the x path for the element and we are basically writing the element so this element will be having the x path with the value of this now i'm writing a method which is basically functionality of the page page functionality here also same thing i'm doing but there is a difference whenever relevant method is performed it returns one page one one uh, action of a page okay or uh, let's say one functionality of a page if you perform it might navigate you to another page right so the return type of the method should be the next upcoming page so let's say here i'm in the home page i'm searching something after searching i'm getting a search page so that's why i have created the return type as search page and here after all the things are performed okay i am 
returning the object for a search page. Search page is nothing but another page which will be having again set of functionalities. Okay, so like this, you can keep on increasing the functionality of each of the page and whatever actions or methods defines the navigation to another page, you can return the object of the next page. Okay, that's how the page factory works or of the page object element object model okay now here you have to write you are writing your locators and your functionality in the same same class but in the previous or the first approach we have segregated the location or implementation of page methods and locators in different interface and class so that it makes your code cleaner so it depends on you totally which approach you are trying to follow and what is the uh, way you can follow it's okay both are very good this one page factory is uh, classic model and previous one whatever i had shown you is the advanced because you are segregating your code and locators okay you are basically pretty much pinpointing and so that your code get modularized it is easy, easier to debug it is easier to track and maintain as well okay gives you more flexibility as per the framework is concerned okay so now how to consume this page factory again the same i had created another class so this is also extending base setup i am basically creating a locator in the same way and in the before class i am navigating to the url and just calling this method okay as simple as that okay so that's what we are doing here so i will run this class and I'll run this test and see what happens okay this got launched okay it's launching so um, that's done we're searching with test automation okay let this is close the browser this test is getting passed okay that's all so now guys the page object model is a very uh, critical but a very important concept but the implementation is very simple as you have seen just now but it's very much important okay what you went what you want to implement how you want to implement it depends on you but either of the approach you can follow and if you have any questions or comments okay or feedback or anything please put them in the comment box and if you do like my video okay and if you feel that it had helped you please do like share and subscribe to my channel okay thank you and have a nice day